rice to still be good. At Cookhouse, Cape Colony, there were ten brothers by the name of Watson, men who had been saved and baptized in the Holy Ghost. As I was conducting a meeting at the home of one of them, the Spirit fell upon the youngest of the family. He arose and we observed that he was giving the arrangements for a drama. He was perfectly under the power of the Spirit. He had no consciousness in the natural of what was taking place. All at once, the Spirit fell upon another of the brothers, then another and another until all ten became actors in the same drama. We sat there amazed for hours, observing a perfect five-act drama. A presentation of God's dealings with the race of man throughout the history of the world. I left that night with the awe of God on my soul so deep that, for weeks afterwards, I felt as if I wanted to walk very softly. The life of the Christian without the indwelling power of the Spirit in the heart is a weariness to the flesh. It is an obedience to commandments and an endeavor to walk according to a pattern which you have not power to follow. But, bless God, the Christian life that is lived by, the impulse of the Spirit of Christ within your soul becomes a joy, a power, and a glory. When preaching at Bloomfield,